Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries for the month of May. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. If you still don't find them there, check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. So going right to the heart of this reading, we have the Two of Fire in this particular deck the two of wire uh, wire <laughs> the two of fire is talking about partnerships teamwork mutual interest overcoming obstacles in a partnership together okay uh, being understanding cooperative but here we have a troublemaker when it comes to this so there's somebody that uh, is not um, willing um, that uh, is not being cooperative. Now, I feel like uh, you may be wanting to try or are determined, actually would be the word, you're determined to try to uh, fix this or to re rescue the situation. you're upset with this person for something they've done you could be calling them to account for uh, this is bad behavior here um you uh in this relationship there is a lot of fighting um you may because you're so determined to try to save the relationship you may uh, try to work this out to restore the order um, but you may accept uh, less than what you really uh, desire or you know what you really deserve to have with regards to what you're trying to do here with regards to having all of the tools, everything you need to be able to manifest this and to rescue this relationship, you will have um, more news in the future. Um, so that would be going out to um, one to two months uh, that you will have uh, these answers or some message that will give you um, this some type of clarity there is uh, a lot of conflict in this in this relationship i see it here and you just you want to put an end to it you want to put an end to it somebody could be very stuck or set in their ways not willing uh to try to change things to try to rescue it it's like a it's one person uh fighting for this relationship it's like you're alone and you really want uh, this opportunity. You're uh, you're holding on. Just you're, it's like you're trying to hold on, and and that's the impression you get here with uh, the death uh, and rebirth card in the reverse. Something just doesn't appear uh, to be able to come back to life. It's like clinging. Uh, clinging to that relationship like a life preserver. So, in the upright, when it was upright, there was change that came in. But you're resistant to it. Um... The thing is, there's no going back on this change, is what this card is saying. Um, but you're holding on, trying to fight it. I, what I feel, what I pick up from this card is that um, it's like there's a lot of damage that's been done. That uh, you know, a lot of things that have been said, that is not, it's like you can't make that go away. Um, also, I feel like this person, 
doesn't, it's not that they don't want to change, they don't believe they have to change. There's distance between you. You could be hoping they would step up and do their part, but it doesn't appear as though they are, and uh, you really shouldn't be trusting this person here. You're wanting to go back to fix what's wrong in this relationship, but you're alone in that. The other person hangs back, you know. You just keep hitting brick walls with this person, time after time. So here we see the, uh, the death when it was in the upright. And here we see you trying to, uh, you know, chip away at it, <laughs> make it go away, work through the issues. It's what you want. You don't want this death. You don't want this. That's why it's reversed. And you want the desired result. Okay. You want to rescue this relationship. Communication seems to be stuck. It's like you, maybe they're not hearing you or they just don't want to. Um, I mean, it, it could be uh, like a relationship of convenience, uh, you know, for one or the other, because I have a... This Eight of Cups says that somebody stays in a relationship, they drink from the cup, but they are not fulfilled and they will eventually just walk away. So you could get, this could be the clarity that you get. Um, or it could be a clarity like, well, um, I mean, it could be that a decision is taken to stay together but knowing that uh, like to stay together for other reasons um, so you stay together for other reasons uh, other than love basically because um, the this person's not fulfilled and so in effect you kind of in a way, you get what you want, or you, well, you get um, the relationship doesn't end, but the emotional part has ended, like, uh, but you're still together. So, is that is that cup that um, it's it's the cup that is 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 not what you wanted. That that's that's. That's what I'm picking up. And so uh, here we have that news. So it's news, again, the Ace of Swords. It's news that's heartbreaking because one of you uh, still has the emotional attachment. And for the other, it's like a relationship of convenience. Maybe you stay together for the kids. Maybe... You stay together for uh, finances, you know, uh, property, for whatever. But it's not love for the person who's making this clear, who's bringing in this news. Because, I mean, you know, uh, these energies can go vice versa. So here we have somebody wondering, you know, what to do because they're not quite sure uh, should I take this offer? Mm, what are their, you know, uh, really are their intentions here? Because there's still doubt in their intentions. They're not really trusting what's being offered. Yeah, see, the, the offer comes in the olive branch to save this relationship you must be either married or like a marriage but there's deception here and it is planned so you do have a right 
<laughs> you do uh, have a right here to wor to be worried. They're up to something else. So be careful. This is a new plan to move it from the choppy waters to the calmer waters, but there is deception here. So be careful. You must decide if you're going to accept this cup, even if it is not what you want. Overall energies. Spirit of place is in the reverse. Let's start there. Don't get entangled in details or desires that obscure the truth of your situation. Trust in your intuition. You hold the power to tell the truth first to yourself and then to the world. Be honest with yourself and remain willing to let your situation be revealed for what it really is and not what you want it to be. An apple cannot become an orange. Are you trying to change someone or something to suit your agenda? Because it is only when you see things as they truly are that you will find the real treasure. The compass. As long as you orient your compass to true north, the direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. To stay on the highest path of your destiny, you will need to keep your compass pointed to true north. Only spirit has a higher power, uh, only spirit or a higher power can serve this, uh, can serve this function. Money, relationships, etc. can't help you find your true path. They're simply things that you will experience along the journey. That is what I have for you. So you have a decision to make um, on this offer that you is not really what you want. So are you willing to take it or walk away from it? I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.